everyone, in this video I will show you how to do Holt Winters in Python. Holt Winters is one of the oldest time series forecasting models there is. It's quite intuitive and also quite easy to implement. If you're interested in learning more about my content, the first link in the description is my secret discount portal where you'll find deep discounts for all of my Udemy courses. One of those courses is about time series forecasting in Python, where you also find more about Holt Winters. This script will be available. It will be the second link that you'll find in the description, and you'll get to keep it and use it for your future needs. For this particular video, the case study that we are going to solve, it is about Udemy Wikipedia visits. It is on daily level, and what we'll try to do is predict the next 31 days. The first thing that we need to do is to import some libraries. Hence, import pandas as pd. And then from stats models dot tsa dot hold winters, we import exponential smoothing. And here we go exponential smoothing. And if I spelled everything correctly, it will run. So let me do control enter and open a new cell. And now what I need to do while this is running is that I need to retrieve the data set. Data frame equals to pandas dot read underscore CSV open parenthesis. And what you need to do is you need to write the same link because I've saved this data set on a particular link. I saved it on a GitHub page and then I created this tiny link. Hence, HTTPS and then we we'll do colon two slashes and then bit.ly and then slash Udemy and then underscore data frame. And here you go. Let me also do data frame.head to see what we get out of it. Control enter. And here we go. So we get this date, Udemy, Easter and Christmas, which could be used as regressors, uh, but we don't have actually um, a possibility to use them because we're using Holt Winters and Holt Winters does not allow regressors. So we're just using date and Udemy. And what I need to do is that I need to include this date in my index column. Index call equals to date. And here you go, comma. And then I do this parse dates and this parse underscore dates. What it does is that it transforms the date format into the most common, which is yearly month and then day. And here you go. So I'm going to include true. And then finally, I know that this is on the level and you know, because you're human, you're very good at detecting these patterns. But Python does not. So we need to tell Python that we have daily frequency. So as frac and then capital D for daily. Let's do control enter once more and see what we get. And here you go. So this is the new format of date in the index column. Now that we have this settled, we can actually do our whole winters model. So model equals two. And then we use the exponential smoothing function that we imported before. We include this in dog, which is for our time series, which is our data frame. And the name of it is Udemy, data frame dot Udemy, comma. And now the whole winters part is that it is this triple exponential smoothing. So it has the time series and then it also has a trend. And then here we must specify whether we think it is addictive or multiplicative. And I'm not going to go into the details, so I'm just going to include addictive for both of them. And then after the trend, we include the seasonal and then seasonal equals two and then same thing. And then we could addictive as well. I'm not saying it's the right one or the wrong one. It's just we need to add either addictive or multiplicative. And here we go. So seasonal periods. So this is where we tell the function what kind of seasonality we have which for us is daily hence we have seven because we have each week has seven days and then we do dot fit and here you go open parenthesis 
and let me do control enter and here you go our model is created and now we do our predictions here you go we use our model to forecast and then inside we include this steps and steps is this forecasting horizon which for us will be 31 days and here you go let me do the shift enter and now we do the visualization so we see the output of our model we go to our date frame and then we fetch udemy and then i'm just gonna have a look at some part of the data and here you go so let me do 20 20 zero, one, zero, one. and then i plot and my usual uh, figure size and fixed size equals two the usual one that works well for me on this monitor is nine and six but feel free to try something else and then i include here as well the predictions dot plot and here you go let's do control enter and here we go so here we see an error so numpy object has no attribute plot and I, of course i pause to see what this actually meant because this makes no sense and the only thing that we're actually missing is this colon because I would like to see the data from 2020 onwards so from the 1st of january of 2020 onwards and then if i actually do it then it will actually run and here you go and you can see here in blue so this is my date and then in orange is my predictions and you can see that in general our or i would say that hot winters is doing really well at capturing uh, this intra-week seasonality and then, of course, it's just an extrapolation of how the current trend is actually going. And as we're able to see, Hope Winters is super, super simple, very, very easy. And if you're interested in learning about the intuition, about the theoretical part, it is also, I would say, quite simple to grasp. I do say it's something that actually uh, makes sense. I'm looking forward to seeing you in another video. And until then, have fun.